In this video, I want to give you a quick look at the word search generator, which is an up and coming product release of mine, uh, which will be released in the next few weeks with the Everything Bundle subscribers getting that access first. So this is an online tool. That means you need to have a connection to the internet and you can use it across all your devices, whether PC, Mac, tablet, etc. So once you log in, you'll be prompted with this screen here. And our options here are to upload our word list. So when creating word lists for the word search generator, they need to be in a text file. And then in the text file, you separate the words you want in a particular word search by having a title. And to designate a title, you put hash at the front of the title. So as you can see here, I have hash animals one. So animals one is my first title. 10 words later, I've got hash animals two. Number 10, hash animals three, and so on. Now this doesn't have to be um, 10 words or 15 words or whatever words each time. You can put any amount of words in any of your word searches. So once you've got that set up, if we then go back to the word search generator, we're gonna upload our file, and then this will load a ton of other options here. So our first option is for our font. Again, you can choose from a lot of preset ones. Alternatively, you can upload your own here. If you want the profanity filter on, so what this will do, this will um, check the randomly generated letters in your word search grid to make sure there's no swear words that have inadvertently been generated. How many attempts to generate the grid? Uh, typically this is fine and one, but if you have a complicated word search, you may want to increase this. We have options to choose the alphabet letters. So this is the letters that it fills the grid with. So English, German, Greek, Italian, Spanish. And if you're creating a numbers word search, you can choose numbers. So after this, we have our grid options. So the best way to demonstrate this, I think, is if I show you. So if I quickly generate one to show you. So by default, obviously, we have the square here. And we can choose how many rows and columns we want. If we're using a um, image mask, we can change the threshold. If you're not creating in SVG, you might want to increase, increase the resolution. This will give you a um, higher output file, file resolution. After this, we have options if you want to generate a solution. So as you saw here, I've just got my word searches with no solution, but I can generate them by highlighting the letters. And I can pick a highlight color here so let's just go for red. And if I generate that again, you can see I've got my solutions highlighted in red. And we can also outline the words as well. Again, you can choose a color. And as you can see, my solutions are outlined. And then finally on here, you can strike through the words. So if I just generate that again, again, you choose a color. And then you have a strike through like so. So we'll go back to my grid options now. Next option here is for a shape. So if you're not using a custom um, image mask, you can choose a different shape here uh, to generate your word search in. For example, a heart, I'll just show you that now. And then the word search will be generated in that shape. Of this is how we want our word list to be displayed. So as you can see at the moment, it's comma separated, but what we can do is we can choose this to display in a single column like so, 
or we can split that further into two, three, or four columns. I'll just quickly show you the double. Like so. Now, after this, we have options to um, change the thickness for our outlines on our solutions. So for example, you know, the strike through the height of the outline of the words, we can change the thickness of that if we want to make it bolder and clearer. I'll just show you that. As you can see, the lines are a lot thicker now. Let's put that back down. Now, what you may notice sometimes, occasionally, is that if I just generate this again quickly, you may wish to adjust where your title or your word list is to minimize or make the um, gap between the title and your word search and your word search and your word list smaller or, or bigger. And so to do this, you can change the word list position here. For example, if I put that to five, You can see there is a bigger gap in between and you can equally do this with the title as well. And again, you can see there's now a larger gap between my title, my word search and my words. Let's put that back to default. Now after this, we have further formatting options for our grid, for example, we can capitalize all the um, word search grids rather than having lowercase letters, like so. We can remove the word list from our word search so it doesn't show it. We can show a border around our word search grid, like so. Uh, we can remove the word list from our solutions. If we're using an image, image mask, we can have a border. And if we show an image, if you have an image, sorry, we can show it. I'll come back to them. We can remove the title of our word searches. So obviously, at the previously it showed animal um, one, two, three. But if you don't want the title to show, you can remove it like so. And then we can show our grid lines. like that. And if we have an image mask, we can grayscale our image. Then below this is our image opacity and border opacity. Um, they're only really applicable if we are using an image, but I will come back to that. And then here we can choose what um, output format we want our uh, word searches to be in. So you can choose between PNG, JPEG, and SVG, and equally, you don't have to have just one of them. You can choose all of them as well. And then after this is the ability to choose the direction of our words. So by default, normally you want all directions, but for say, for example, you're creating a kid's word search, you may only want to go um, up down and to the right, like so, and then that will play, only place the words in those directions. If you fancy something a little bit more complicated, this middle option here is snake, so you can make the words snake in different directions, as you can see here the words aren't in just necessarily in one straight line, they snake. So that's it for the sort of uh, default settings. And obviously once you generate them here, you can preview them. And if you're happy, hit the download button. But now I'm gonna show you how you can use um, an image mask to make your own custom shape 
word searches. So again, if I upload my file and then if I choose my image, so you can choose a uh, JPEG or a PNG for this, it's completely up to you. Let's choose my elephant. And again, all these options, as I previously went through, are the same. Just here, when you increase, for example, the rows, it will ignore the columns. So it will resize your image, keeping the aspect ratio the same. So you only need to change the rows. The threshold is how many of the pixels of the image uh, are included in the word search. So generally, the higher the number, the better. And let's have another solution again. Let's strike through. It will ignore the grid shape because obviously you're using a custom image. And then the next option here we want to go down to is we have an image mask border and the show the image and grayscale image. Now these are three specific options that only apply if you are using an image mask. So if I just quickly generate this without any of them showing, as you can see, I have my elephant shape and my solution and the same for all of my word searches using the same image. But what I can also do is I can show that image if I want and then increase the opacity to control how visible it is. And we'll just wait for that to complete. And then as you can see, you can see my elephant in the background. And again, you can control the opacity here. I can choose to grayscale that image if I want. Like so. And what I can also do, if I like, I can choose just to have the image mask border. So then what I'm gonna do on that, if I put the opacity of the border up a little bit and then generate that. You can see I have the outline of my image mask as a border, like so. Now, most of you be thinking, well, that's great, but what if I want to bulk create with different images for different word searches? Well, that's our last option at the top here, and that's upload a collection. So how you set that out is, I go into here, you need to name your image files the same as your text files. And in your text file, you need to have the title at the top with a hash followed by the words you want in that word search. And the same applies for all of these. And then once you have them all, all you need to do is archive them in a zip file. And then if we go back to the word search generator, hit browse here, and then we're gonna go to our bulk and then our zip file. And again, all the options are exactly the same as before which I've gone through. So choose all your options that you want. And then let's show the image grayscale and let's put opacity up all directions. And then let's actually turn the profanity filter off for quickness. Now this will generate all of your word searches matching the image file to your text file. So as you can see, I have my lion, tortoise, 
my goat, etc., etc., all the way through to number 10 or number 9, sorry, sorry, should I say. So, this is basically a quick overview of the word search generator. I hope that you find it interesting and that you're looking forward to it. Thank you for watching.